I have two songs that both have a little over 4 million streams, one on Spotify, one on Apple Music. And in this video, I'll be giving you the exact number on how much each made on each individual platform. What's up, it's your boy Eldre, AKA Lo-Fi Dre. The L in Eldre stands for Lo-Fi, I'm calling it now. But if you just so happen to be new to the channel, I've pretty much made my living off of releasing Lo-Fi hip hop, chill beats, instrumentals on all the streaming platforms for the past couple years. And I've accumulated over a million streams in the process. Now there's a lot of back and forth, there's a lot of debate on how, how much these platforms pay artists. Is it enough? Is it way too low? How are they even paying out artists when we got Drake over here getting a billion streams every time he drops? Now if you look at this little chart, it'll show you the top platforms and how much they pay from highest to least. Apple Music is number two with $0.01 per stream and Spotify is at number four with $0.0033. It's definitely not a lot unless you're getting millions upon millions of streams, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Also, as you can see on this chart, it'll take 100,000 streams to get $1,000 on Apple Music. Spotify, on the other hand, tripled the amount of streams to get the same amount of money that Apple Music has, 303,000 streams. Now with those numbers in mind, mind you, I have 4 million on one platform, 4 million on the other platform. I just want you guys to go ahead and take a guess. You don't have to comment it yet, just get it in your head and let us know in the comments if you were right or how close you were on the exact amounts when I get to it. But yeah, now that you have a little background, a little bit of knowledge on how much these people are paying, let's get into my numbers. But before that, I just wanna give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, DistroKid. Now, if you're a musician and you wanna get your music on all these platforms to get paid, DistroKid is the best, quickest, and easiest way to do it. Remember earlier I said I've gained over 100 million streams. All those streams come from the music that I've distributed with DistroKid over the years. Super quick, super reliable, and super affordable. At just $20 a year, you can get unlimited uploads to all your favorite platforms. So if you got music in the tuck just sitting there, this is your sign to start uploading that and start getting paid. You can sign up today, get 7% off in the link in my description. Again, shout out to DistroKid. Let's get back into the video. So the two songs I'm gonna show you is one, I Miss the Rain. This song has 4.7 million streams on Apple Music. And the next song, you might be familiar with this one, is Shibuya. This is the instrumental to my super viral uh, Frank Ocean remix that I did a while back that blew up on TikTok. And the instrumental currently has 4.5 billion streams on Spotify. So I'm using this website called Distrolytics. You can pretty much download your analytics from DistroKid and upload them to this and there's nice graphs and everything for you. So let's see, Shibuya in total has 6 million streams. So as you can see, for a little over 4 million streams, Spotify has paid me $11,683. One thing to note, payments for these streaming service are usually like three months delayed. So realistically, this isn't the full 4.5 million, but it's gotta be super close. Now let's move on to I Miss the Rain. So I Miss the Rain, total of 4.5 million streams. I made $25,000 from this song, but more specifically, Apple Music paid me $24,000 $200 for a little over 4 million streams on this song, which is like, you know, to me, it's pretty good, you know? <laughs> if anybody guessed and got their guess right, shout out to you. And if you're wrong, you gotta hit that subscribe button. Actually, if you're right, hit the subscribe button too. So as you can see, the numbers do match up quite a bit. As we saw in the earlier graph, Apple Music does pay about triple the amount that Spotify does, but there's a lot of things that go into it. Uh, Spotify is also has a free plan. I believe streams that come from the free users is even less than what I showed you earlier. So, you know, there's a lot of nuance to it. It's not just black and white, but at the end of the day, yes, Apple Music is paying way more. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Dang, I spent all my time trying to promote my Spotify, but really I should be trying to promote my Apple Music. Here's the thing, all right? This song on Apple Music, sure, it's doing great. Um, shout out to the Apple Music playlist god. I got lucky and this song was put into one of the biggest uh, hip hop instrumental playlists on Apple Music. I didn't pitch it or anything, it just got in there. That just really shows you the impact that these playlists have. But here's the difference between Apple Music and Spotify. Spotify is the number one music streaming platform. According to this website, Spotify has over 162 million 
paid subscribers. Meanwhile, Apple Music has only about 76 million paid subscribers. So you tell me if it makes sense the amount that they pay out. I don't know if it balances. I'm not gonna be the one to debate that right now. But at the end of the day, Spotify does have way more users and actually a lot better features for at least independent artists like myself. You can actually pitch to playlists every time you release a song. And you know, they got Shopify integrations, artist bios, you can upload images, you can connect playlists that you made onto your artist profile. The, the features for Spotify are much better for artists compared to Apple Music, which is just now getting a few new features actually, but it's still far, far, far behind Spotify for artists. So I wouldn't say to watch this video and try to just divert all your marketing and everything you do for Spotify and try to divert all of that to Apple Music, still stick with Spotify because at the end of the day, there's more users on there and there's much more opportunity for independent artists to get things done. But that being said, don't forget Apple Music when you're doing your thing because in reality, you should be trying your best with every platform. You shouldn't just focus on one single platform. Like I said, Amazon Music, I feel like Amazon Music is definitely on the come up with the rise in popularity of all these Alexas because at the end of the day, if kids are saying, hey, Alexa, play this, it probably goes directly to Amazon Music, right? Or I don't know, I don't have an Alexa, but same thing with Tidal. Tidal pays the most, probably has some of the least users, but it does technically pay the most. I don't know how impactful their playlists are or anything like that, but if you're able to get 4 million streams on a song on Tidal, what is 4 million times 0.013? $52,000, all right? So if I got the same amount of streams on Tidal, I would have $52,000, which is double what Apple Music paid me. So moral to the story, don't ignore any platform. It is 100% possible to make money. This is all independent work. None of these songs were released through a label. This is all just me putting in the work, putting my music out there and promoting the hell out of it on all the social media platforms for as long as I possibly could. And now I'm just kind of reaping the benefits of all that work. And if I can do it, you can definitely do it. Like I said, DistroKid, $20 a year get started. I know a ton of you watching this right now just have music sitting in a hard drive somewhere. Bro, just start uploading anything. You don't have to use your name. Go make up a fake name and just start uploading whatever you got. Just, just for shits and giggles, just to see if it works out. I know, I still know a lot of people are going to look at this and be like $24,000 for 4 million streams. That still isn't a lot. It's very rare for the average person to get 4 million streams in their whole catalog, let alone just one song. 4 million streams on Apple Music isn't a livable wage in the US, that's for sure. So, um, you know, there's a lot of nuance. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are they paying us enough? Should they be paying us more? How could they pay us more? I don't know how any of that works, but all I know is I'm just gonna keep trying to get as many songs out and as many streams out as possible. And yeah, hope this helped. Hope this inspired someone. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.